After allowing a shorthanded goal to the Jets in the third period Tuesday night, the Blues battled back and won the game on a late goal by the hottest goal scorer of the NHL. 50 left for the power play. Goldmeister winds up. It throws Steve back in. Tonight, they begin a three-game trip in South Florida against the Panthers, a team they thrashed 7-0 in Game 2 this season. Can they tame the Lion once again tonight? Find out next. And we are back in Sunrise, Florida at the BB&T Center. Our top starting goaltenders, Brian Elliott, stopped 26 of 29 in Winnipeg in that difficult 4-3 shootout loss. And for the Panthers, Jacob Markstrom has taken over as the number one goaltender with the lower body injury to Tim Thomas. He, by the way, played in relief in the third period in that 7-0 victory in St. Louis. Yeah, he's a, he's a big goaltender, covers a lot of net, obviously. A second-round, highly touted draft pick, and they've waited for Markstrom to develop. So for Alexander Steen and David Backus going up against Marcel Gotch and the Florida Panthers, I, I'm, I'm hoping that this has a little bit of vinegar in it early on in this game. It is Backus, Steen, and Oshie against Sean Mathias, Gotch, and Thomas Kopechki. Ready for hockey in Sunrise. Blues hockey is brought to you by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. It is Petrangelo and Bomeister on defense for the Blues. As the Blues send it deep, there is former Blue Mike Weaver. Nudged by Steen. The Panthers get a Kopechki to center. And now it's taken by Shattenkirk. And tipped back in by Oshie. As Markstrom plays it, his third straight appearance as he took over in relief three games ago when Thomas pulled a groin against Chicago. And interestingly enough, the Blues pull off Petrangelo and Bowmeister John right off the hop and they get Jackman and Shattenkirk up against that Sean Mathias line led by Marcel Gotch at center ice. Now Weaver for Tom Gilbert, the former Wild and Oiler defender. That center ice, Bergen got back to the Blues to break it up. And now Bowmeister ahead for Vladi Tarasenko. Nice rink-wide feed for Schwartz. And he sends it softly deep into the Panther zone, and he goes off on a change. Number seven, Dmitry Kulikov. First round pick in 09. That's tipped down the ice by Jonathan Huberdo. Bowmeister up the board. There on the far wall is Nick Bukestad. As Darren mentioned in the open, a big man. Down low for Thomas Fleischmann. Try to center one. Here's Petrangelo up the far side. But the Blues can't get to it. And now Bukestad again right in front and knocked away with the stick by Elliott. Here's Petrangelo. He'll ride one in around the end boards. Going back to get it is Bukestad. And the Panthers is smartly to center ice for Sean Bergenheim. And that pass picked off nicely there by Chris Stewart. Stewart up the ice for Adam Crocknell. Trying to make a play for LaPierre. Now Crocknell again. He'll deal it back, and a bouncing puck just went over the stick of Ryan Reeves. Pretty good saucer pass there by Adam Cracknell on the backhander. Except for that last little bounce, it would have been a pretty good setup to the left D. Ian Cole back in the lineup. Jordan Leopold gets a rest. Back-to-back -back games tomorrow night in Tampa Bay. Good opportunity game for Cole to get back at it. His other game was in Winnipeg, and Hitch said he played well yep. in that shootout loss. Now it's Shattenkirk. He'll wind it around, tipped away by Reeves into Panther Ice. And this is Gilbert. Panthers have not played since Sunday. A 4-3 shootout loss here at home. This is the sixth game of a six-game homestand. So far, they are 1-2-2. Two, and two. Tough game in their last one against Tampa Bay. They started the game down 2 nothing right off the hop. I thought the Ford Panthers did a really good job, John, of coming back in that hockey game, at least getting a point. Yeah, they had two goals in the third period, then lost in the shootout. Here's Kopeski. He walks in but forgot something very important, the puck. <laughs> and now it's Oshie. You never know early in a game like this, Darren, especially on a humid night like this, there could be some water on the ice, and that could stop the puck like that. Who yep. knows? Yep. John Mathias. And he is entangled on the boards with Holock. 
Gets it low now in the front. Well, the Blues goal, but there's Oshie. Nice play ahead to Bacchus. The only shot so far by the Panthers. Bacchus dumps it in. Okay, Kulak. Kopp plays it back of the goal now for Brian Campbell. Back to Kulkoff and ahead for Matthias. And then punch back in the zone by Berglund. Mm, Berglund had that right on the tape on that line change, too, and he would have been flying through the neutral zone, but puck exploded right off his stick. Blues go back to get it. Huberdeau is in there. Last year's Calder Trophy winner and a shot was tipped off a stick and wide. Now well, Gilroy gets it back of the goal. Here's Huberdeau in front, and he had a man open. That was Fleischman, but it's off his stick and the Blues the other way. And Berglund scoops it in deep. Number 44, Eric Branson back for Florida. Now Derek Roy back of the goal, creating some havoc. Roy gets it free to Berglund. To the line, Petrangelo. And across for Bo Meester. He looks in front in a shot. And a stick saved by Markstrom. Fired back of the goal again. Here's Stewart. On the wing to Roy. A shot and a save by Markstrom as he went down on his knees and made the glove save. Well, quite a pace early on here, even though that was the only shot on goal. And it comes off the twig of Derek Roy. Uh, it gives us a, an opportunity now for our Toyota keys to the game as we begin this contest. And you take a look at both coaches, Kevin Dineen and Ken Hitchcock. And before the Blues established that Blues game early on, he's Hitchcock's really impressed with the way that Kevin Dineen's club plays. So he wants to establish his game early on and respect the speed and skill of Florida. The good news is there's familiarity after playing them in the first three games of the season. Pitch said they have a very good club that can score off the rush. Yep. And their D jump into the play. Maybe they need a bit of a horse back there. That's probably something Dale Talon, the general manager, wants to get later on. But they got some good components. And a drive there by Bergenheim and a glove save there for Elliott. 15 21 left in the scoreless first period. Well, this is the transition we're talking about. And here's Nick Bukestead. And he gets it up to Versteeg, and a nice little drop pass there. And Bergenheim's wrister, an easy one, but a good one for Brian Elliott to feel right off the hop and get familiar with the puck. And that's one thing when you're not playing a lot. You just want to see the puck. You want to be able to handle it and just get a feel for the game. Elliott has never faced the Panthers as a blue. Puck in front, and there is Bacchus to gobble up the loose change. And here he comes with Oshie. Bacchus had a little shovel shot. That went high and wide. Comes around the boards for Stieg over skates it, but now it's knocked away by Bergenheim to center ice. Rattled back in by Polak. Here's Gilbert. Turns away from the fourth check. Bergenheim was hit by Bacchus. Now Weaver tries the other side, and the Panthers get it out. Right back in is Bacchus. And his pass hit a skate. Caroms to the veteran Scott Gomez. And then Du Bois a drive and a blocker saved by Elliott. And that's one guy that the Blues are obviously familiar with. Look out here and a shot from Jesse Winchester set up by Boys. And now it's Boys again. Played last oh. year with the Islanders. What a nifty move that was. Cuts in front and a pad saved by Elliott. That may have hit a skate on the way through. And Reeves back to center ice. And it's a new combination for Kevin Deneen, putting Gomez and Boys together. They weren't together in the last game. Great centering feed and a shot by LaPierre. Just missed. As Max LaPierre had a decent opportunity. Looking for his first goal as a blue. Here comes Petrangelo. And the hard around goes off Brachtel skate in front. But Kopechke gets it back to center ice. Reeves just got a piece of him. Now Kopechke a drive and a good glove save again by the Newmarket Ontario native Brian Elliott. Yeah, really good save there by Elliott on a little wrister. And our Plaza Tire Service replay shows a nice little give and go there between Boys and Winchester. And that one just missed. Well, Brian Elliott's got a good sense of timing and humor and E.T. go home <laughs> he, he wasn't home for Halloween but that's what he would have done had yep. he been home see Elliot right in the basket one of the great movies of all time wasn't it it certainly was no score here the Panthers center it tipped to the corner by Matthias I thought he was the little red riding hood <laughs> <laughs> now on to Oshi. and his shot well wide of the goal comes to Steen bumps with Weaver and now the former blue, Mike Weaver, 
for Kopechki ahead, intended for Matthias. And no icing here. Matthias got there first, drop past the Gotch. And he pulls up. That shot blocked by Jackman. Now Matthias again to the front. Left pad saved by Elliott. And then Jackman has some time back in the Blues goal. There's that size coming off the boards and Sean Matthias. And he's a powerful player, big player. It's hard to drive him off. He gets a good chance there trying to stuff it on the glove side on Elliott. Shots early on. 5-2 for the Panthers. Long pass to center ice. Oshie tips it in. And it's handled by the sweet goaltender, Jacob Markstrom. And now go Branson with some time back of the Panther goal. The 18-year-old Alexander Barkov at center here. On with Huberdo. Huberdo lost it to Schwartz, and he comes in. Jaden Schwartz and a hard shot and a good save there. Rebound, and Schwartz put it wide. And now taken by Matt Gilroy. Up on the boards. Fleischman gets it ahead. Huberdo, he'll dance in. Wrist shot, and again a glove save. That's about the third glove save Elliott's been forced to make. Yeah, and he's got a good good glove hand. He sees the puck real well, works on his hand-eye, but good battle in the corner there by Alexander Steen. Laying his shoulder there on his former teammate Mike Weaver, then he goes right back at him again. And then here's the pull-up play there by Sean Mathias as, as uh, Kevin Shattenkirk is just a little on the outside right there. Steen scoring a goal in his last five games, seven goals, one assist. The entire line has had 37 points so far this year and is a plus 21. That's Oshi Bacchus and Alexander Steen. Quite a start. Steen only the third NHLer in the last 20 years to have 11 goals in his first 10 games. Scott Young and Ilya Kovalchuk are the other two to do that in the last 20 years. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive for Alexander Steen. You know, for Vladdy Sabotka, you remember at the tail end, this is why I was thinking there was going to be a little bit of gusto to this game, because at the end of the 7-0 Blues win against Florida, remember it was, it was Sabotka that hit Versteeg, and then in that same play, Versteeg doesn't go after Sabotka, he goes after Jaden Schwartz, and Schwartzy and he fought. And so uh, it would not surprise me whatsoever if there's a continuation of that with Versteeg and any one of the Blues players. No score here. The Blues control the faceoff in their own zone. They were very good to get the Panthers in St. Louis, winning 58% of the draws. And Sabotka out there now is having a marvelous year in the faceoff circle, leading the league at 70%. 70. That's unheard of. Blues turn it over here. And a hit on Bukestad back of the goal by Polak, but now Ian Cole up for Sabotka. And he gets it out. Panthers break it up, and now it goes to Brad Boyce. Islanders did not offer Boyce a contract, and he was signed very late in September by the Panthers. And that's fired ahead by Campbell. At the line, stays in there. And now Cracknell trying to go wide on Campbell. And then Lapierre comes over there to force a turnover. Now Cracknell again. To the line for Bomeister. And a wrist shot sail high and wide. And then tipped away by number 17, Jesse Winchester. Nine minutes gone by, first period, no score. Blues dump it in. Turning is Gabranson. Long stretch pass for Matthias. And he goes after it against Jackman. And a good check there by Jackman. Now the puck up the boards. There's Oshie a hit. And then Steen through some legs to Bacchus. Rink wide feet. Shattenkirk jumps ahead. Now Shattenkirk. To the corner to Steen in front. And that's off the skater stick of Oshie. Now you see the chemistry that those three forwards have coming out of their own zone. How seamless that breakout was. Now Kopechki for Gotch. Working on Shattenkirk. Who does a good job defensively. Yeah, and Shattenkirk helped that breakout too. Because your weak side D's got to fly up the ice. And that was the outlet for David Backus. Now Backus down the boards. Gabranson gets it around the placement back of the goal for Weaver. Now stolen. Here come the Blues. Tarasenko. Drop pass. And a shot by Backus. Block. Now Petrangelo drive. He scored in two straight. But a good save there by Markstrom. No score. Past the midway point of the first. 
And welcome back to the BP and T Center here in South Florida. Just under 10 minutes to go, still no score between the Blues and the Panthers. Well, we've been talking about Alex Steen, the great start that he's gotten off to. Of course, you mentioned number one star in the month of October. He also has a lot of history representing his native Sweden. And we're now under 100 days to the beginning of the Olympics in Sochi, Russia. You look at it here, you see two-time uh, captain of the World Junior Team back in 2002-2003. Just recently this past week, the head coach of Team Sweden told some Swedish media Media, something we probably already knew that Alex Steen will be representing his country in the Olympics coming up in February. In fact, as you guys know, there could be as many as 11 players from this roster heading over to Sochi, Russia. And he could have his teammate Patrick Berglund as a member of Team Sweden. Yeah, I got breaking news though for you. Canada is trying to trade for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he played last year in Sweden during the lockout with Ulf Samuelsson as his head coach. And Samuelsson now, of course, an assistant coach with the New York Rangers. And Ulfie just has such glowing remarks to say about his versatility. We all have seen it here in St. Louis for years. And there's flashes of it as a former first rounder of the Toronto Maple Leafs. But he is just coming into his own. Now it's Bergland. And that shot was tipped off the stick of Kulikov. And it goes high. Berglund was invited to the orientation camp in Sweden in the summer. It happened in August, but uh, told me before the game, Darren, he had the flu, was sick, and couldn't go. But very much on the radar. No question about that. They know what he's all about. And, and in that big ice surface, too, you've got to be able to skate. You've got to be able to get around the ice. And Patrick Berglund, uh, you know, protecting the puck from the from the boards to the net, as we know in international ice play, and as is going to be the case in Sochi, it's 100 by 200. So 15 feet extra in the width area. you got to find a way to get to the net. Berglund would be tough to defend in that big ice surface. And he showed that in the World Championships two years ago. Oh, a stick came up on Derek Roy. Yep, no call. Roy uh, checks for blood. He's apparently okay. And now it goes to Jackman. Shot 6-4 for the Panthers. Blues drop it off, but the Panthers there to pick it up. And wheeling back in is Bukestad. And a soft backhander is eaten up by Elliott. And no further action. Well, Derek Roy, a natural centerman, is still accustomed to playing on the wing. And he did so with the Buffalo Sabres. You see Bergenheim's stick comes up here. And it's just a missed non-call by the officials. Our Plaza Tire Service replay shows that. Bergenheim's trying to lift the stick of Derek Roy. Instead, he just gets it right up in the mush right there. But he played on a line with Chris Drury and Mike Greer, the former Blues pick. And uh, in two Western Eastern Conference finals with the Buffalo Sabres, they were the shutdown line. So and he played the wing then, so he has experience. And Hitch said before the game, he likes him on left wing. He said he's our best player off the rush, is Derek Roy, as the Blues ice it here with 8.32 left in the first. Well, Derek Roy sees the ice so well, and, uh, you know, he is a smaller player. He has not been healthy the last couple of years. He gets his shoulder done. He's in the best shape of his career. He's always had savvy hockey sense, but I think the biggest thing we'll find with Derek Roy is when the game's on the line, he wants to be a player. You know, some guys shy away from it, good regular season players, but when the lights are bright and shiny, the shiniest they're not, he, he's not that way. He has proven in the past what kind of player he is when the heat's on. Here's a chance for Huberdeau and a save by Elliott. And then Barkov. And another chance in front. That first shot may have been blocked by Polak. And now we get a whistle and a tripping call. Our first penalty of the night. Good set play by the Florida Panthers. Down low. Playing it to the mid slot. And getting another good chance. Steen's going to go off for tripping, defensively trying to defend against this. You see that little quick play right there, and Steen actually takes a cross check to the back, and the player is actually, Fleischman's actually falling down. He lost his balance battling with Ian Cole. I don't think it was a whole lot to do with what Alexander Steen just did. Panthers on the power play are struggling. 0 for their last seven, and 1 for 16 in their last seven games. Yeah, only 9.8% overall, 4 for 41. 28th in the NHL. Those are 21st on the kill at 78.6%. Panthers get it in. Campbell to the corner. And now stolen by Petrangelo all the way down on goal. And Markstrom sets it up now for the former Hawk, Brian Campbell. He can really skate. He'll gain the red line. And that dump in goes to the skates of Jackman. On defense here with Pola. Three Panthers around them. Comes in front and Berglund in the right spot and he comes away shorthanded. 
on for Oshi. Slides it through to Berglund. And then is eliminated by Kulikov, who's pretty good friends with Vladi Tarasenko. What a player he is. Well, Gotch comes ahead for Florida. On this power play to Campbell. Here's Campbell looking in front. Wrist shot. Where is it? Off Jackman, I believe. And it carries to Bacchus. And the Blues kill some time here. They don't get a lot of accolades because it's not all the offensive prowess. But boy, when Polak and Jackman get together on the penalty kill, they're doing something good. Blocking shots, taking bodies out in front. Polak's blocked about three already in this game. 30 to go in the Blues. Penalty. And this is offside at the Blues line. Well, FoxSportsMidwest.com is your home for Blues news all season. Log on for features, columns, game previews, recaps, and the latest updates. It's all on FoxSportsMidwest.com. Three-game road trip. Tonight in South Florida, tomorrow night in Tampa, and then Tuesday in Montreal. Here's Schwartz on the faceoff. Gets it from Bukestad, back for Bomeister. Caroms it off the inboards. Late on this Florida power play. And good work by Schwartz to kill some seconds here. And now Gobranson has it for the Panthers. For Matt Gilroy. And then walked in by Boys. Bomeister back of the goal. Comes near the front and a shot. And Bergenheim couldn't get it by Elliott. That shot blocked by Sabotka. Oh, he knocked a man down, and the Blues are away. They're back at full strength. Here's Steen in. Steen in front. A shot by Oshie, and he ripped that one wide. That's a chance tonight for the Blues. All started because of Sabotka. Tough in his own zone, and he leads the rush offensively. Goes right to the front of the net. Good scoring chance there. Oshie trying to go high over the glove and just missed. With a wicked one-timer. Now picked off at center by Bergwood. And Berglund on the wing, and a soft shot there. Stick saved by Markstrom. And then Oshie battles in the corner. Trying to get it away from Matthias, and now it goes to number 18, Matthias. Oh, and his pass up high hits Schwartz, but he gets it down. And the Blues take over. 5.30 left, first period. Now Berglund from center ice. Cross corner dump it. That's stared by Gilbert to Weaver, and then back to Gilbert. Both clubs making changes here. The Alaska native Scott Gomez now ahead for Weaver. At the line, Derek Roy there to break it up, and now Sabotka charges back into the Blues. He is met by Huberto. Back of the goal, and Roy spins off a check. Roy in front, trying to make a play, and that's broken up and then flown to center ice. And the Blues get it back. Stewart in for Roy, and the Panthers intercept that. Now Campbell back of the goal for Kulikov. And then Huberto goes across. Now up the middle for Barkov. Barkov comes in. Drops it back. Kulikov up. Up high off a of body. Yeah, off the hand, the left hand of Barrett Jackman. That stung him. Got him right in the palm, it looked like. Good play there by Stewart in front. A backhander. They score! Derek Roy, the backhander. And the Blues take a one to nothing lead after a little play by Stewart leads to a goal. Derek Roy with a nifty little play. Always a tough one for a goaltender. The goaltender Markstrom get, got back on his heels, left a little room on the glove side, and very similar to the backhander that Alexander Steen had on the game-winning goal against Andre Pavlik off the pipe and in the net. Good play by Stewart along the boards on Campbell. Then, oh, with one hand on his stick, it's Stewart that strips the puck and gets it over to Derek Roy. And a nifty backhander just before this. It was Stewart that gives him a one hand on the stick rate right to him. Our Plaza tire service replay shows it perfectly with Max Lapierre going to the front of the net and late in the first, the Blues have a one nothing lead. Roy's fourth of the year. Had a goal two games ago in Nashville. And that goal at 15-41. What a play by Stewart. Yeah, just that last-ditch effort, huh? Just to poke it by. Otherwise, there's no chance for Derek Roy to be wide open as he was in that play. And Chris's uh, in-laws are here at the game tonight. And will be in Tampa more night. I know. They've been hanging with us. Yes. It's been great. 
Actually, he got that trip for his in-laws at the Blues 14 Fund at golf tournament. He was the high bidder on that package. That's the wedding present, right? Yeah, for the in-laws. <laughs> Here's boys a shot, and again, Elliott sees that all the way. And a whistle. So the Blues strike first on their thick shot of the period. Roy's goal makes it one zip. Back with you in our Fox Sports Midwest studios in St. Louis. Blues up one nothing. Coming up on our St. Paul GM Country intermission report, Bernie Fredergal will break down the opening 20 minutes of play. Andy Strickland will visit with Blues defenseman Jay Bomeister, and we'll have our Bud Light What's on Tap back to South Florida and rejoin John Kelly and Darren Payne, guys. All right, Scott, the Blues always play well against the Eastern teams, at least they have of late. Since the 10 11 season, 27 6 and 5 against the East. And a shot by Backus, rebound to Steen, that's go off the mark. Now, Bolmeister to the front, and a penalty coming up here against the Panthers. And a hooking minor. This all starts again with the top line of the St. Louis Blues, one of the most dynamic lines in the NHL, you could argue. And uh, some of all parts of this line rushed through the neutral zone. A terrific pass by Steen to Backus. Backus fires it off the left shoulder of Markstrom, then the rebound, and then the minor call to the youngest player by one day in the National Hockey League. Barkov off, power play late. And the Blues power play on fire with goals at eight of the first ten games. Blues win the faceoff. Oshi to the corner. Blues were one for four against the Panthers in that 7 0 win. And Goodbranson has some time and fires it off the uh, near boards and all the way down the ice. So the goal by Roy from Stewart and Shattenkirk has the Blues up by one. And now on the power play. In on the four check, Stewart. Puck comes right in front. And luckily for the Panthers, Kopechki was there. And he puts it off the boards and down. Yeah, but I like what Jay Bolmeister does right away. He's going to go for a line change, but don't allow that player just to casually stroll up ice with the puck. Jay Bolmeister went right at Kopechki and made him dump it at a far distance. Now it's Sabotka coming in, and a hard shot, waist high. And a save by Markstrom. And a good play by Sabotka crossing the line. You can see that Sabotka from the Czech Republic gains more and more confidence with the puck. Not just the defensive side of it, not just the 70% on the face-off dot that we're talking about, but handling the puck, having patience, making plays, and of course his face-off percentage, as you mentioned before, John, leads the NHL. And we asked Hitch why he's been so successful this year in the circle. I mean, even more, he said he wins almost every single 50-50 puck. Yep. Schwartz well, in front. There he lost that one, but he got some help from Stewart on the right side. And now the Blues have to regroup at center ice with 50 seconds left in the power play. Here's Steve. Oh, nice move at center ice. Walked right around Bergenheim. Steen in front. Swept away from Schwartz, but there's Stewart to follow up. Down the wall for Shattenkirk. Gotch broke that up. And the Panthers play it back down the ice. Now Steen, long stretch pass for Schwartz. Second-year player comes in for the Blues. He's it back of the goal through Shattenkirk. In front, and Bowmeister a shot right on goal, and a save there by Markstrom, and it goes out of play. That's a second scoring opportunity for the former number three overall draft pick of the Florida Panthers, Big J. Bowmeister, and he has a good scoring chance there. In the meantime, Vladi Sabotka gets a well-deserved rest there. Shattenkirk on the offense. Look for his defensive partner, Bowmeister, and Bowmeister just lets that one rip. Good save by the goaltender. Bowmeister has not had a minus game this year. Blues win the faceoff. Now for Bacchus. 12 to go in the power play. And then Bowmeister steers it back of the goal again. Tarasenko after it. Get some help there. Bacchus in the slot. And the Panthers take over, and that will do it. Panthers back at full strength. So the Blues 0 for 1, but leading 1 0. As Versteeg wanders back to center ice. And Elliott back to play it. Handles the puck quite well. And now for Petrangelo. In the final minute of the first period. This is picked up by Lapierre. And that went over the boards and then back into play, so we get a whistle. Well, we've often talked about Jay Bowmeister's skating ability. 
And, and, and for Jay number 19, his lateral movement, explosive. Now watch him, cuts the ice in half, takes pressure off his partner, gets right over there, forces Versteeg to dump the puck. This guy covers a lot of territory, doesn't he? Oh. You can picture him on the big ice surface in the Olympics. He can't skate. As Steen almost stole that from Campbell, who was a bit nonchalant. Now it is stolen by Oshie. Here's Oshie in front. Steen can't get it. Here's Oshie to the backhand. He's tricky there. Instead, back to Jackman, now to Polak. In the final 30 seconds now in the period. And then Steen to the end boards. Here's Huberto trying to work it away. Stolen again by the Blues. Tough angle. Steen a shot. Save. Rebound. Left here. Digs away. It's still loose. Comes in front again. Oh. And swatted out of there by somebody. In a red uniform. Yeah, Lapnir banked that right off the left pad of the goaltender, and it just ricocheted right in the slot. No blue available there. Otherwise, the top part of the net was wide open. And that will do it. The end of the first period. Ooh, good pressure there. And puck patience by Oshi starts things off. And then there's, you see, the fake pass and just jams it at the bottom part of the net on Markstrom. The puck comes out. On this play here, there, there's the little ricochet. Oh, and it was Oshie that was right there. And Alexander Steen just gets dumped right in front of the net. Roy has the only goal so far from Stewart and Shattenkirk. Shots 11-11. We played one here in South Florida. Blues up by one. Another balmy night here in South Florida. And the Blues with a 1-0 lead on the goal by Derek Roy. Jack Kelly and Darren Fang back in the broadcast booth here in South Florida. Well, the Blues continue to play some strong defensive period. Darren, they have not allowed an even-strength goal against in their last eight periods of hockey. That's a, that's a lot of good, solid defensive hockey. I mean, that says a lot. When you look around the NHL, you talk a lot about five-on-five five scoring, goals for, goals against, and the differential. And the Blues are one of the best teams in the NHL at that. But team defense as well. They had five block shots in, in that first period. There, there was no sustained pressure, really, by the Florida Panthers. It was pretty much one and done, some pop gun offense. And when they did get a chance on some nifty play in here, Barkov to Huberto, there was Roman Polak with his team leading second block of the period. So one play there by Bergenheim, a jam play, easy play there by Brian Elliott. I thought Brian Elliott, though, looked sharp, in control, gave his uh, teammates plenty of confidence. When they looked back, they knew that Brian Elliott was sharp and on top of his crease and controlling rebounds. Blues hockey is brought to you by Bud Light. It's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. Here we go. Teams are at full strength. Bacchus, Oshie, and Steen for the Blues. Against Kopechki, Gotch, and Sean Mathias. Well, Steen had a couple of good chances, but I think Jay Bomeister had a real dominant first period all over the place. It was nice that Jay joined us after that first period. A soft-spoken man. Doesn't get, doesn't get too high or too low, huh? You could say that Jay Bomeister is on an even keel in life. I would say. <laughs> but he is loving it in St. Louis. They bought a home there. He's got a new girl, and boy, oh boy. Wanted to sign that five-year extension and did so and loves the fabric and what St. Louis is all about. Now Kopetsky gets it. His shot blocked by Steen. And now handled by Kevin Shattenkirk. And now the Blues to center ice for Bacchus. Handed on to Oshi. And that shot hit a skate, came in front, but then knocked away by Gilbert. And back into the blue zone. Now we just have to change his baseball allegiance, John Kelly. He's an Oakland A's he fan. He sure is. <laughs> We're going to have to get him a new hat. Now Tarasenko. And a hard drive and a good save there by Markstrom. As Tarasenko was surrounded by four Panthers and made the good play there. Yeah, good coverage by Florida. Not a whole lot of room there for Tarasenko. That's where you really got to keep your head up. You're going through that area of the ice, crossing the blue line, and with the defensive posture of the Florida Panthers, you never know who's going to step up right there, knowing that there's four... Panthers all around Vladdy Tarasenko, who's got one of the niftier wrist shots in the NHL. And now Berglund steps in on the faceoff against Bukestad. 
Who had a goal in their last game. Gets it on to Campbell, but he gives it away. Bomeister a shot. And that was blocked. And now recovered by Tarasenko for Bomeister. Here's Jaden Schwartz to the front looking for a tip. Tarasenko was in the area. And he gets it again. Tarasenko slides it back. And Bomeister was not quite ready for it. It was a hard pass. And he has to backtrack. Yeah, it was on the backhand. And I, I think Tarasenko fooled everybody by going to his left and then reverse passing to Bomeister. Now Tarasenko again. Oh, a pass to Berglund just out of his reach. And then Berglund smashed by Campbell. And then Puck worked around the boards. Bergenheim trying to get there, but Polak gets there first for the Blues. And now Kulikov for Campbell. Panthers exit the zone. Bukestad trying to send it in. And that's turned over again. The Blues and Stewart to center, but a hand pass from inside the Blues zone to center ice. Well, with the injuries to Brendan Morrow and Magnus Payarvi, who's on IR, Chris Porter was recalled from the Chicago Wolves. Remember last year, what a great season he had with the Blues. Certainly gave that CPR line a lot of life. Such a versatile player, always well-conditioned. Signs his first one-way deal and then gets sent down. Do you know that he was a healthy scratch for two games in Chicago, John? And that's the rotation that they have because there's so many players down there. Here's Sabotka tipped in front by Stewart and a good save there by Markstrom. But Chris Stewart with a great chance there. And now the other way, Huberto. Markov is hit by Sabotka. And they battle back of the goal. Sabotka for Petrangelo. And on to center ice. There's Stewart to deal one in. Crackle after it. Oh, Markstrom didn't see Crackle coming. Almost made a gaff there out of the Panther goal. Now the Blues get it in. And Lapierre's pass. Again, that's too hot to handle. And then swatted back in by Polak. Blues 3-0-2 in their last five. The only regulation loss this year to San Jose on October 15th. Now back of the goal, Gilroy. With some room. Stretch pass for boys. That's off the mark. And Polak got to the docks first. So there's an indication of that hybrid icing. Uh, earlier in that last shift, big Barkov going up against Vladi Sabotka. And then after that, you see Fleischman, their leading point getter, holds it up. But uh, Sabotka doesn't stop moving his skates. Goes right to it. Makes a great play over there to Chris Stewart. And they're finding some chemistry, especially down low on the cycle. And the key is getting Stewart in front of that net. That's where he has scored and will score a lot of goals at 18 a year ago. Face off controlled by Bacchus. Steen comes in. Now back on the line to Shattenkirk. Turns around trying to make a play. Panthers break it up. And fed up the middle by Winchester. And Shattenkirk back to get it. On the wall to Bacchus. Center ice feed for Steen. And now Oshie jumps into the play. Oshie goes wide on Gilbert to the front of the backhander. And that rolled off a stick. Gutsy play by Oshie. And Bacchus on the point. Couldn't hold it in. Slides down to Elliott. And then Shattenkirk around the boards to the Blues captain. Now Bacchus. His feed goes by everybody. Steen will get there first so there's no icing. And a good read there by Alexander Steen. For Polak. Wrist shot. That was tipped by Oshie to the corner. Played up the boards by Weaver. Oshie knocks it out of midair with a good play. Now to Bacchus in front. Loose puck. Here's Steen back on the line to Ian Cole. He rattles one off the end boards. Panthers with it. Weaver trying to clear it. And that goes high off the glass all the way down. And an icing call. Yeah, good sustained pressure right there. And good play by... Ian Cole keeping the play alive, but for Barrett Jackman, the veteran, it's all about moving your feet. Keep your eye on number five in the white there. Gets it up the ice, perfect pass right on the tape, but now watch him go. That's the encouragement of the Blues. Get up the ice and uh, be part of the attack. And certainly uh, Jackman did a good job on that last sequence. And now Patrick Berglund on the faceoff against Gotch, the former Shark. Gotch wins it, but now Berglund on the wall comes up with it. For Tarasenko. And then Schwartz back of the goal. 
Gilbert trying to skate away from his forecheck. And then to the near side again to Gotch. Blues again, a good forecheck. Yeah, good and they've done a real good job you know, all night long. You're right about that, John. And the key is, too, is the defenseman. Picked off by Berg on a drive, and he rattled that one off the glass. Yeah, the defenseman jumping up. Yep. And the Panthers, not a lot of room. The Blues' gap is very good tonight. Well, gap closure is excellent. And I think uh, 19 in the white, I think Jay Bowmeister has been e exceptional. He's been on top of it. Good reads. You can tell when you're on your toes and reading every little play. And we're not just talking about with the puck. We're talking about, and not just the physical stuff, we're talking about getting up there. And here it goes again. Bowmeister with to Sabotka. Sabotka. He darts down the wall. Drop pass. Jackman. For Stewart. Shoots. He scores! Chris Stewart from the corner. His first of the year from the corner. And it's 2-0. What a play by Sabotka on the far side. Looked like he was waiting for Bowmeister to jump in. He waits, plays it back to Jackman, who jumped onto the ice. Jackman makes a real smart play over to Stewart. And although this is a severe angle, somehow it finds its way through the stick in the legs. There's the great pass. Fake shot by Jackman right over to the right-handed Stewart. Clearly one that the goalie's got to have there. But this is good fortune, too, for Stewart. He doesn't know it's in. Then he sees it's in. And big relief for big number 25, his first goal of the season. First goal in 13 games going back to last regular season. And of all things, he scores at a foot off the goal line. <laughs> and it's 2-0. And with his in-laws, right here in Florida. Courtesy of Chris Stewart. And helping out the 14 fund. Why wouldn't he? With a great donation. Now the Panthers on the attack. Huberto back of the goal for the 18-year-old Barkov. And then to Group Ranson. He feeds it back to the cage again. And last year's Calder Trophy winner. Huberto at 31 points last year to Gilroy a shot. And a stick save by Elliott. And the puck bounces to the corner. Jackman, he was buried in the corner and a penalty called. And he's taking exception to Huberto. Huberto with the numbers in the glass. It looked like the forearm came up and Barrett Jackman's face got schmucked right into the glass. Now the Blues will have a power play here. Seven minutes into the second period and a 2-0 lead. Chris Stewart the difference. He makes it 2-0 on this one. Well, the Blues have won the last three games, and you see the goals for, goals against. It has been somewhat overwhelming in this series, but the Blues will have a power play. Keep your eye on the right forearm of Huberto, number 11. It goes up way too high, and it ends up ends up pushing Jackman right into the glass. Could have been a dangerous situation. Jackman looks like he's okay. And the Blues on their second power play, 0 for 1. Goldmeister a shot, and that's wide. And then fired down the ice by Mike Weaver. Blue's last game in this building was February 8th, 2011. They won 2-1. So it's been a while. Now Steen to center ice. Panthers break it up. Winchester in there for Florida, but it's Petrangelo. Left wing feed for Steen. And then to the captain, Bacchus. Back of the cage. Oh, she battles there with a good Branson. And then Bacchus comes over. Blues get it free now for Bowmeister, who walks that line. Bowmeister to the front. And then Bacchus again out high. Bowmeister with some time here. Now for Petrangelo. Bowmeister fakes it. Bacchus does it a shot. Tip in front. They score! Petrangelo had moved in. Then he tips it in to make it three to nothing. Third goal in three games for Alex Petrangelo. Good movement up top by Jay Bowmeister. Walking the line, dancing the line, buying some time. And then it's Petrangelo sliding in on the weak side, on the right side. After he gave this puck back to Bowmeister, he slides to the side of the net there. First shot kind of trickles off a body, goes to the side. Does it hit Weaver's skate? And then Good Branson's skate. And there's Petrangelo on the doorstep, chipping it up high and into the net for a 3-0 lead. And you could say, well, that's a lucky bounce, but you know what? He went to the net, and that's where you score. He did. As soon as he gave it back to Bowmeister, then he slid in there on that far side. 
These are all just reads. I mean, you, we watch the Blues practice every day. A lot of them are set plays. Some of them are reactionary plays. And that one there, he's in the right spot off a good bounce at the right time. So the Blues won the first game between these clubs. Seven zip lead this one three nothing. That power play goal at 7:06, and that makes it power play goals in nine of 11 games. And the defensemen add into the offense here with Shattenkirk, Jackman, Petrangelo, and Bowmeister on the board for points. And as you said, Petrangelo now with goals in three straight. As Ian Cole walks in, great pass for Tarasenko to Schwartz. And that was broken up. Another penalty called here in Florida. It's a hooking call on Gomez. And now it's Tarasenko getting up, ended, and we get a whistle. And Kevin Deneen's club will be short for the third time tonight. Yeah, Gomez, who uses a very, very long stick for a somewhat smaller player got it tangled up in the arm of Roman Polak just to the right of Brian Elliott so 200 feet away from his own net the stick got caught up and this is the play afterwards here with Fleischman and Tarasenko going down that last goal Petrangelo from Bacchus and Bomeister power play goal at 706 right back to the power play Panthers win the faceoff, and Weaver sends it to center ice. Shattenkirk and Steen back on the points. Up front, Sabotka, Roy, and Stewart. That pass behind Sabotka, and now Gotch wanders in for Florida. And Gotch surrounded by three Blues, and is forced to give it up. Now Shattenkirk delays a bit. So the Blues with a big 3-0 lead. Looking to expand it here. And that pass by Roy Tip. Panthers have it. Here's Matthias shorthanded. He cuts in on Elliott. And a pass saved by Elliott. Yeah, that was perhaps their best chance tonight. Elliott's done a good job of shutting down the holes, hasn't he? And on that play, even though it's a severe angle, too, Derek Roy made the pass and got picked off going the other way. And he just got on his horse, heading back to put some pressure on Matthias. Blues have allowed shorthanded goals in back-to-back -back games. Now Oshie comes in. Little toe drag for Bacchus. Pokes it back to the cage for Oshie. And then back for Bowmeister. All the way across Petrangelo. To Bacchus. And return feed to Petrangelo. Off a leg to the corner. And now Oshie sets up. Here's Petrangelo again. And that backhander intended for back is picked off and worked down the ice by Matthias. 30 to go in the Blues power play. Bowmeister, long stretch pass. Off the stick of Tarasenko and punched back down. For Petrangelo, he's on fire now with three goals and five points in his last three games. Well, we knew going into the year that if there was any question about the offensive production from the forwards that the defensemen would supply a lot from the backhand in the transition they certainly have done that well Bowmeister good keep in there to the corner Weaver gets it just as Gomez steps out of the box it's drilled down the ice and Gomez is on side taken by the Panthers Fleischman a drive and that was blocked in front and the Blues quickly back to center Stewart for Schwartz and now for Lapierre Angled back of the goal for Stewart. In front, Huberto was there, checked by Lapierre, and Schwartz recovers for the Blues. Now Schwartz, his backhand feed. Oh, Cole was open on the left point. A couple of times in this period, they've been batted out by the good hands of the Panthers. Now Huberto comes in, and his pass blocked by Polak. And the Blues step up, and rolling Polak to center ice. Moved in by Stewart, and he delayed a bit, and that put... Pollock in offside. Goals in the second. Stewart and Petrangelo blues up 3 0. There are the goal scorers here in the second period. Stewart is first, and Petrangelo is third in as many games. Yeah, he's been red hot. Here's some examples here. Great pass by Oshi. Petrangelo slides in in Nashville. A bomb right underneath him. Carter Hutton, and tonight again, slide in on the weak side. You get a good look at it here from ice level, and he just chips it in. Good hand-eye coordination, presence, and calmness under fire for Petrangelo. 
Well, the Blues into the zone again. Backus on his backhand, lets it go. Rebound. Steen shoots and scores! Steen was in the air. I think he got it. It's 4 0 St. Louis. It is. It was Steen. No question. After the backhand by Backus, oh, she's in front of the net. And Steen just comes in. And Alexander Steen, there is your first star of the month of October in the National Hockey League. And why wouldn't he be? And he adds to it. His NHL leading 12th goal of the season. A dump in that goes off of Campbell. The backhander by Backus on the right side of your screen is Steen. It's a flutterer. Versteeg is there. It's wobbling. And he doesn't get everything on it because of Versteeg fairly nonchalantly going over there. And Steen just pounds it home. He has now scored goals in six straight in every game but one. And now 12 on the year. And he... Where's the A on the road? He doesn't need an A. He doesn't need a C. He just has leadership abilities here as Kevin Deneen talks to his troops, and he cannot be a happy camper with their lack of detail and intensity in their own zone. But here's your NHL three stars of the month. 11 goals, and now he's got 12 with that one tonight. The great Sidney Crosby of Pittsburgh with his eight goals, and Antti Niemi's been unbelievable for the San Jose Sharks. But it's nice that the NHL recognizes the great play of Steen. Here's the 12th goal. There's the backhander by Backus. Oshie's on the doorstep. And, and you can be sure that when Steen talks about this goal, the first guy he credits is TJ Oshie right in front of the net, causing all kinds of mayhem there. Three goals in five minutes and 21 seconds. The Blues have now scored 11 goals against the Panthers. Featuring nine different goal scores. Okay. Here the Blues in again. Tarasenko, that's just over the goal. And now Tarasenko back of the net. In on the forecheck, but it's Alexander Barkov back to center for Fleischman. And that's poked away by Bowmeister. And then Berglund plays it back to Petrangelo now for Bowmeister. Third overall pick of the Panthers back in 0-2. Now centered by Petrangelo, comes all the way across. And then the Blues at the line. Berglund tried to hold it in, couldn't. And now Barkov to center. That's off a skate. Schwartz a long shot and a save by Markstrom. And no rebound. Steen gets that last goal from Backus and Jackman at 10-42. Yeah, Jackman's dump in went off of the defenseman. Brian Campbell and then the one thing when you look at the diversification here 11 goals against Florida with the nine different goal scorers as you mentioned John but Backus is really good on the backhand too huh you know he, he that's a severe angle he got a lot on that backhand attempt and that allows that squishy rebound to come out and now Brad boys a chance and a save by Elliott who has not been very busy at all in the second period that's only the third shot on goal by the Panthers in the period. Well, you expect to push right now after Kevin Dineen gave it to him on the bench with that timeout. You're on home ice. You got beat in St. Louis 7-0. And now you're just letting the game get away from you. I expected a lot more gumption, I would have to say, from the Florida Panthers in this game. But we just haven't seen it. Garrett, it seems since the Panthers didn't score on the power play in the first period, yep. the Blues really took over after that. Here's a right pass saved by Elliott on Winchester. Good shot by Winchester, the former Ottawa Senator. And a better save by Elliott with his right pad. And now Krakow gets it in deep back on the goal. Played around by Kulikov. And then floated to center, played by Jackman. This allows Ken Hitchcock in back-to-back -back games to get that fourth line on the ice an awful lot. You know, you know that Tampa Bay is playing tonight in Carolina. It's going to be a tough test tomorrow night. Yarrow Halak will get in the net. But, but you, now, Ken Hitchcock has a chance here, talking to Ryan Reeves on the bench, getting Cracknell in there, getting guys that don't normally see a whole lot of time to make sure you give your big boys a good rest. You don't take it lightly, but, but you make sure that you still have control of the game, but you still get those guys on the ice as much as possible. Tarasenko is another player. Roy Stewart, Petrangelo, and Steen have scored for the Blues. Now Sabotka on the wall. A little tricky backhander in front, Roy. Another backhand feed. That was to a Panther. And Bukestad into the zone. Well shot by Bergenheim. 
Handled easily by Elliott. Panthers get it to Weaver, and a shot right on goal, and a save by Elliott. And then Weaver put it wide. Chris Stewart there chops it, and this comes back to center ice. Shots in the game, 18-17 for the Blues. Bergenheim again. Around Shattenkirk, a shot, and that's wide, and a penalty coming up. It's against the Blues for slashing. It was a nifty little move by Bergenheim. He looked like he was going through the middle. He cut back to the left, which is Shattenkirk's right. And he, he beat him with speed. Tough play for a defenseman when a guy's coming at you with that kind of speed. But Shattenkirk gets his stick, as you see, right. he gets his stick right there. And uh, subtle little play. In the old days, that was just a good defensive play by Shattenkirk. But that's a slash and power play for the Panthers. And the Blues win the faceoff. Fired down by Bacchus. On with Steen, Bowmeister, and Petrangelo. Kulikov and Campbell, the point men for Florida. Up front, Barkov, Huberdo, and Fleischman. Fleischman takes it off a skate to the corner. Chopped around by Bowmeister. Now recovered by the Panthers. And back for Brian Campbell. To Kulikov. Campbell again. And a drive, and that was wide, maybe off a body in front. Huberdo far side to Kulikov. Huberdo again from the circle. That shot blocked by Petrangelo, and that goes into the netting. By the way, Greg and Lisa Tigges from Springfield, Missouri, are here tonight. Want to see the Blues win, and also their biggest fan in South County, their dad, Charlie Tigges. Loves you, Darren Pang. And he, he's celebrating his 80th birthday tonight. Charlie Tiggins. Charlie, happy 80th Darren birthday, Pang. Charlie. Holy jump! And why wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, Gilroy off a face-off. Good Branson with it for the Panthers. Two boys. Well, boys, beats Gilroy. Wrist shot blocked by Oshi. And then Polak takes out Kopechki in the corner. That shot broke the shaft of the stick there of Oshi. He's got no twig. Well, Gilroy for Gomez. Oh. Sliding play by Oshie. In the second period, it's tough to get a new stick when you're in your own zone. Gomez to the front. And boys are rocket wide. Rebound came to Cabranton and a save by Elliott. And the Blues need to clear Jackman with some room. And that's knocked into midair by Boys. What a play. And now Gomez has it. Gilroy across. One-timer just wide by Cabranton. 30 left in the power play. Oh, she can't get over to the bench. Now Gomez with it. Gomez in front. Backdoor feed to Boys, and he wasn't ready for oh, it. He has to shoot that puck, Gomez does. And he gets another chance. Deals it back to Gilroy. Winds up. Gabranson shot blocked. Another good block by Polak. Panthers settle it again. Boys to Gabranson. We're looking for Boys again. And a snapshot blocked by Polak. And then Oshie tried to kick the puck. He doesn't give up on it. And now Shattenkirk is out of the box. The Blues have killed it off. And a big scrum in the corner. And now Oshie can finally go off and be replaced. That smart play by Oshie, knowing that play is kind of dead there in the corner. Great change. And the Blues punch it back to center ice. Boy, Florida had a couple of good formations there. They had some good chances. A little reluctant to fire the puck, though. And some were blocked. Yep. And Elliott blocks this with 4.02 left in the second period. And the boys in blue leading 4 now. Warming back with you in our Fox Sports Midwest studios here in St. Louis. Blues up 4 to nothing. Coming up in our Jack in the Box intermission report, Darren Pang will visit with Blues defenseman, our forward that is, Chris Stewart. And Bernie Pernerkel will talk about the Blues' second period surge back to Florida, J.K. and Pang. All right, Scott. The Blues on the road this year, 2-0-1. Darren, they'll be very busy in November with 15 games in the month of November. Yep, that old schedule will catch up to the Blues <laughs> without a doubt because I got a note from former coach Davis Payne last night. He said, are you guys going to play all 82 this year? <laughs> seems like, of all, well, it doesn't just seem like it, it is factual that the schedule of the Blues has not been highly intense. No, 10 games in October <laughs> and now 15 in November. Yep. As Mathias tries to center it, bouncing pockets in the goal crease area, covered by Elliott. And we get a bit of a skirmish there. 
Yeah, that's Bowmeister. Yeah, and Sean Mathias went to jump in there on Bowmeister, who already had Winchester. And Chris Stewart grabbed the big fella and said, nah, 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 nah. That's get out of there. And good job by Stewart reading that. Time now, as we get a moment for our charter high speed shots, brought to you by Charter. Three goals in five minutes and 21 seconds has broken this game wide open. Alexander Steen has got his NHL leading 12th goal of the year. The defensemen have been involved in the offense. And for Chris Stewart, all of his points have come against the Florida Panthers. Had two assists in the first game and one and one tonight. Those win the faceoff. Shattenkirk off the board. Steen in a foot race with Weaver. And Weaver just got there in time. Yeah, but Steen still got the puck from him. With some help from Oshie, but now the Panthers get it back. And then chipped along by Fleischman. Elliott hammers it up the near side for Backus. And his pass to center ice. Fired back in. Backus again. Hard pass on the tape of Steen. Trying to fight against that check of Gabranson. And now gets some support there on the boards from Tarasenko. That's where Steen is so, so good and so strong. One-on-one -on -one battles. Tarasenko in front. Brooklyn came in, but the pass was broken up at the last second and fired away. And now Bomeister for Cole. And then Tarasenko tips it deep. 2.40 left in the second period. Now Bomeister at center ice. Jaden Schwartz can't handle it. Panthers go back deep. Long pass by Barkoff. Goes all the way down on goal. And Elliott must play it with Bergenheim in the area. Well, scouts, a quick reminder. The Blues have a night just for you. Be one of the first 500 people to purchase a discount ticket to the Blues game on Saturday, November 16th against Carolina. And you'll receive a scout pass. Call 314-622-5454. For more information. Here's a face-off to the right of Elliott. And the number one face-off man in the league, Sobotka, out to take it against Bukestad. Bukestad wins it. And that shot goes off a leg and wide. Now Bergenheim after it back of the goal. Bergenheim missed almost a year and a half. He was hurt. Two springs ago in the playoffs against New Jersey. Missed all of last year did Bergenheim with a groin injury. Down the Blues and Bomeister. Here's Krakdo. Mishandled it. And Tetrangelo could not hold it in. But the Blues tag up and play continues. Blues have now been outshot in the game 2018, but lead by four. And Matt Gilroy. He's eyed by Steen, pass up the boards. Bergenheim comes in, but now Shattenkirk with a good job behind his own goal for Bacchus. And then Shattenkirk again. Return feed, Bacchus storms into the zone. And Bacchus going wide on Weaver, his former teammate. Boy, Bacchus is skating so well, isn't he? I mean, I think that change in, in training in the offseason and just the sharpness with the puck and is just as, his giddy up and go is awfully good. And back is trying to hold it in. That was off a stick to center. Now it is Gomez. He comes in with boys. Here's a pass back for Mike Weaver. Right on goal. And a save by Elliott. And then boys trying to pry the rebound free. What a pass by Gomez. Finding the late coming defenseman, Mike Weaver. Now Weaver joins in on this little pushing chat. There's Winchester in it again. Backus has taken Weaver out of that one, the old teammates right there. And Weaver's had a couple of good scoring chances from the right point. He had a bit of a struggle in his last game against Tampa Bay. But he's come on and had a strong one here. Here's the pass by Gomez. Going against the green after Boys was going hard to the net. And then no rebound by Elliott. So strong job there by Elliott. And here's the shove from behind by Winchester. And shoving on Barrett Jackman. That's why Oshie just jumps right in there, grabs him. Weaver tries to come in right there. And Backus said, no, 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 Weaves. They, there's two there going on. Pulls him out of that one there. But for Winchester, that's no need for that kind of penalty. I mean, the play was dead, and he goes in and shoves him from behind. 
Unless there's something else happened before that that I didn't see. Jackman was kind of pushing a little bit on Brad Boyce, but not a whole lot. The referees don't see that first one. They're looking around, and the next time you come in and you jam a guy from behind, that's what they end up seeing. Historically, they always get the second guy. And the Blues one for three in the power play. Here's Roy. And no one was home on the right point. And it goes down the ice. In the final 45 seconds here, Steen on the point for Shattenkirk. Now Roy. Feathers one through. Tarasenko trying to get there. In against Gotch. And then Roy sends it back for Shattenkirk. Steen is wide open. Takes it off his skates. And then back out high again, Shattenkirk. We're going to walk that line. On to Roy. Stewart screens in front. Now across the slot for Steen. Bouncing puck. And then played by the Panthers. Weaver all the way down. Derek Roy getting a chance on that. The right half boards over there. Trying to make a pass to the far side. Easier play if it's a right-handed shot. But it was a left-hander in Alexander Steen. Now Bowmeister in for Schwartz at the buzzer. Stewart would have had a chance, but the buzzer went. Well, it's a heck of a second period on the road for the Blues. Stewart got his fifth. Petrangelo scored another. And Steen added his NHL leading 12th for a 4-0 lead. Blues were shot in that period 10-8. But with a big 4-0 advantage after 40 minutes. A great second period for the Blues. Three goals, and after two, they lead the Panthers 4-0. Ever since he wanted to be called Alexander, he's gone on a goal-scoring <laughs> tear. I don't know what it is, but now he leads everybody with 12. That's a pretty good list of players. We'll see Stamkos tomorrow night. Phil Kessel lighting it up for Toronto. Matt Duchesne having a tremendous start. Obviously, Ovechkin, who's not playing tonight. Washington is hammering Philadelphia in Philadelphia 6-0. And then there's Alexander Steen. Yeah, really. What more can you say? Right place, right time again tonight to clean up that rebound. No question. But but he doesn't get this done if there's not proper video. You know that, and I know that. You of know the, the Blues yeah. have a new video coach, Sean Farrell, and he's he's a terrific. He's a terrific guy. He does a great work. There's Sean right there doing some work, and we want to wish Sean a happy anniversary. He's missing his wife Cindy. Their 11th anniversary. 11th anniversary, he's missing, he's on the road. There's a lot of conflicts with NHL schedules. You miss Halloween, you miss Thanksgiving, you, you miss anniversaries. But uh, Sean wants to make sure that, that he's thinking of Cindy and wishes, oh, obviously they've wished each other a happy anniversary. Why wouldn't they? Well, happy anniversary. And, uh, happy anniversary. He will be back soon, for the record. Have but that's the life of a yep. of a video coach that's right. or a player or a broadcaster. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's what they say. Yes, it is true. We've lived this life for a long time. You miss a lot of things. This nomadic existence that we have. Yeah. Oh, and Halloween, too. Missed Halloween. Anniversary. Thanksgiving. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Uh-oh. Cindy, it's going to get easier. Trust us. Underway here in the third period. Losing a power play. 50 seconds left in Winchester's minor. Oh, she goes in after it. Up for the back is in steam. And the Panthers break it up, and it's chopped away by Matthias, and all the way down. Here comes Petrangelo with goals and three straight. Handed on to Oshi. Pulls up to make a play, winds it around to Bacchus. Oh, he got tripped up there by Fleischman. And now Boehm Easter for Petrangelo. And he races in. Drop pass to Steen. Steen for Boehm Easter. And a long wrist shot hit a body, maybe Oshi. And then Steen trying to protect that puck on the board. To the line, Bowmeister will race over there. And that shot wide of the goal. And then Bowmeister was hit by Fleischman. And the Blues and Steen in the corner. Winchester is back on, so the Panthers have killed it off. And the Blues now one for four in the power play. And Eric Kubranson, their first round pick in 2010. Plenty of time watched by Tarasenko. Now stolen by Tarasenko. And then Berglund a shot. And that's on goal and a save by Markstrom. Uh, Jacob Markstrom went in the amateur draft just 
ahead of Jake Allen and a uh, highly touted Swedish goaltender. Good size, makes that one look relatively easy. When you're that size, when you're 6'5", it appears as if there's a lot of room between the legs. So in order to be that tall, you've got to have good, good strong quads and get down in that butterfly really quickly. By the way, on the Blues' last goal, the goal by Steen, they've changed that secondary assist from Bacchus to Oshi, or rather, Jackman to Oshi. So the goal reads Steen from Bacchus and Oshi okay. at 10.42, and for Oshi, a career-long assist streak now up to six games for Oshi. Well, good for TJ Oshi. He's uh he's a great complement to the line. I mean his good buddy Patrick Berglund on another line, but for, for TJ Oshi, I mean we we marvel at, at his athleticism. And even though he gets knocked down on the ice, he was telling me in the pregame show that I mean it does happen, but he gets up and down so quickly and it also gives the other team the impression that he's out of the play and then he gets right back up as he did in that last game made so many great plays getting knocked down stays with it makes a good play it's all because of it he's just a great athlete terrific now the Panthers ring one in off the glass Puck comes to Derek Roy who had the Blues first goal tonight for Sabotka and then back to Sabotka in front and it bounced on him Panthers rolling around Pollock Trying to pinch in. There's Chris Stewart to follow up. And he gets the puck down low, and Gilroy reverses. Or Branson trying to go in front of his own goal. And that was almost intercepted by Roy. And again, the Panthers are having a heck of a time with the Blues forecheck here. And I don't know if it's all Blues here, or the Panthers are just not sharp in their own zone. But they have coughed up a lot tonight. Yeah, they sure have. And even in that first period, I mean, from their own zone, they just inexplicably just bunted it out to the point without calming things down. And that's how you start running around. Probably a little of both. Yeah. Winchester trying to make a play now for Kulikov. There's that forecheck again, this time by Reeves. And then Winchester on the near boards. And another good play in the neutral zone by Jay Bollmeister, taking away Gomez's time and space. And Winchester cruises back of the goal for Gilbert. A shot and a stick saved by Brian Elliott. Panthers get it down low. And then Gomez has boys in front. Intended for boys. That was blocked maybe by the stick of Elliott. And then back of the goal. Panthers trying to work it in front. Out high again. Gilbert for Kulikov. Here's boys turning. That shot in a stick gets the glass. And now Winchester, far side, Gomez, boys in the slot, and he stopped that one wide. He missed everything for 20 feet away. Kulikov a drive, that's off a stick and out of play. Good play by Ryan Reeves, got to the middle of the ice. That went right off the shaft of his stick and out of play. Before that, Petrangelo does a good job of taking away the pass from Gomez. Keep your eye on 24, the former blue Brad Boys there. And he just rifles it, pulls it to the stick side. And one of the things that Ryan Reeves and the Blues are playing for in this third period is getting uh, their goaltender, Brian Elliott, a win. You know, they know it's not easy. Elliott really carried them through some times last year, was their starter in the playoffs, and he loses his first game in Winnipeg when they had a chance to win that. So they want to get him a victory here with 16 minutes to go. And in that game in Winnipeg, a couple of unlucky breaks for Brian Elliott on a few of the goals. So, looking to get a win tonight. Now Steen ahead. Oshie tips it on to Shattenkirk. And he was eliminated there by Weaver, but now the Blues again follow up. Oshie back of the goal for Steen. A little shoulder reverse hit there by Steen. And it pops free into the corner for Matthias. Now Sean Matthias to center ice. He walks around Bacchus. To Kopechki. And then Jackman closes on him. At the line, a long shot blocked, and now Bacchus heads to center ice. In with Steen, drops it off. Steen to the backhand, twisting around, and can't get a shot by Gilroy. And then Tarasenko follows up. Outlet feed for Pollock. There's Steen back on the goal. Tarasenko again in there to help out. Tarasenko wanders back in the cage. And tried to hit Steen in front, who's been on the ice for a while. And this comes to center ice. Hard pass into Berglund. Drops it off. Tarasenko, a shot. That was blocked. And the Panthers have it, and they head north. 
but not for long. Polak breaks it up. Now Jaden Schwartz off balance to Tarasenko right in front of shot. And that was blocked by a stick. Good second effort, though, by Schwartz on that play. Looked like it was beyond him. He reaches back, gets it back to Tarasenko. And then Barkov gets it off the boards and out. Where it's played by Jay Bomeister. And his pass goes all the way down. 5.30 gone, third period. The Blues in control, leading 4 nothing here in Florida. And now Kulikov. Very patiently trying to make a play up for Bergenheim. And that pass, I think it's offside. It is as Versteeg was in on right wing. Get your season tickets now for Sloop Billiken basketball. The Bills are coming off back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances. And season tickets for all 18 home games at Schaefer start at $180. You can buy online at sloopbillikens.com or call 314-977-4SLU. As Gomez wins the faceoff from Roy. Gilbert trying to get away from the forecheck of Roy. Now Sabotka with it. His pass to the front. That was broken up. And Sabotka tries again back to Bolmeister. His shot. He broke his stick. It was blocked. And he gets some new lumber. Now Petrangelo. Wrist shot. And it came to center ice. And then back in offside. And a break in the action here. With the Blues up by four in the third. For Bomberito Sports Update and the Blues opponent tomorrow is Tampa. They're in Carolina tonight taking on the Hurricanes. Up 2-0 already in the third period. Alex Killorn with a nice give and go with Martin St. Louis would pick up his third. 3-0 Lightning. Ben Bishop picks up his first shutout of the season. Back to South Florida, J.K. and Payne. Playing good for the St. Louis kid, Ben Bishop. And I would think there's a good chance we'll see Big Ben tomorrow night. Yeah, really happy for Ben. It's a great opportunity for him in Tampa Bay, and he's running with it for John Cooper. Here's Ian Cole a drive, and that was a rocket wide. Only Cole's second game this year. He's played well. And again with Pollock, they were paired together on Winnipeg. Now Roy in there with Sabotkin Stewart. The boat that gloves it down. Roy tips it back for Polak. And he had it knocked away. Gomez to center. Here's Boys. He's had three or four golden opportunities tonight. And we get a whistle. Yeah, Boys leads the Panthers with five goals and seven points. And uh, what's on top? Uh, on tap, John Kelly? What do you figure? I think it's Ben Bishop. 31-31. Fourth career shutout. He stole one too early in the year in Chicago. Won three to two. They had no business winning that game. He was terrific. And we'll have it for you at 5.30 St. Louis time. Campbell a drive. And oh, what a glove save there by Elliott. That may have been tipped by Matthias. Right in the high slot. Campbell with the shot. And uh, not a blistering candidate in shot, but one that's tippable. 51's got his head up all the way. Oh, it went off of the stick of Jackman before it got to Matthias. And a good reaction save here. Down low in his crouch, fighting through traffic, keeps his eye on it the whole way. Good save by Elliott. And the Blues control the faceoff. Long pass to center ice for Steen. That is 12th of the year in the second period. Now Steen back of the goal for Bacchus. And a good play there, but it was just tipped away at the last second. All three of these forwards, Bacchus, Oshie, and Steen, they're good on the backhand. And that changes things up when you're making plays. That was another good pass by Steen using his backhander to David Bacchus. Ba backhander is. <laughs> <laughs> and and Stewart, Stewart might have the best backhand of the group. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I got that, though. Uh, I'm all baffled now. Let's ba back to action here. How about that? <laughs> Kopechki for the Panthers. Out to the line, Gabranson fires oh. it all, blocked there! And a gutsy play by Cracknell. That keeps you in the lineup. Stuff like that, good play there by Cracknell. That's got a stick. Yeah, he's limping. Panthers come in, Fleischman in the slot. That's blocked by Petrangelo. And it comes ahead for Lapierre. His first game since October 15th. Lapierre to the corner, right on goal, and a save by Markstrom. And now a long feed to center by Fleischman. 
Huberto after it against Bomeister. And Bomeister very calmly gets it on to Cracknell. And despite taking that shot, he stays on the ice. Yep, now he's going to hobble off there. That's a good workmanlike effort by Adam Cracknell. A natural centerman, but he's played every forward position. Right wing, center, and left wing. Tonight he's a left winger. And had played about six minutes after two periods. And with a 4-0 advantage in a game tomorrow night, Hitch has the luxury of rolling four lines here, which he loves to do. Back to Gilbert, a shot. And that's why. By, way, by the way, with a win tonight, Hitchcock will tie Jacques Martin for 10th all-time in coaching wins, the former Blues coach. Hitch right now with 612, one behind Jacques Martin. And he'll pass LeMaire before we're done here in the next month or so. Your Jack Adams Award winner in 2011-2012. He will be on the coaching staff once again for Hockey Canada come Sochi in February. And uh, one of the assistant managers is here as well. Of course, Doug Armstrong. He'll have a chance uh, tomorrow to get with the, uh, the main guy, Steve Eiserman, get a chance to get together and go over some of their player evaluations, John Kelly, and get together in, in about a week's time as well when the GM meetings take place. Yeah, mid-November, yep. just after the Hall of Fame inductions, which will include, of course, Brendan Shanahan. Now the puck taken by Shattenkirk. 10.35 left, third period. And this rolls all the way down, and icing called against the Blues. Darren, you look at this game tonight, and Hitch was legitimately worried about the game, but the Blues in all three zones may have played, at least until this point, yeah. their best game of the year. Yeah, they, they, they've, it's, they've been very, very good. Been rock solid. I mean, Hitch said in the last few games they've been winning, but basically the scoring chances have been about even. And he said, before the game, I see some storm clouds brewing, but I want to see some sunshine tonight. Isn't well, we're in the sunshine state. <laughs> Isn't that typical of a veteran coach? It though? really is. <laughs> Find something that you can be concerned about to get everybody on their toes and prepared. There's no, no comfort area. You find an area, you make the players aware of an area that, that, that could come out and bite you for that game. And uh, obviously there was a lot of respect going into this game for Florida, even though their record doesn't show it. And they've played a respectful game. The Blues have played a respectful game against this Florida Panthers team, and that's why they're winning 4-0. No coach ever has uttered the phrase, everything's great. No, no, they... <laughs> Here's Ian Cole. Look out. And he had it stripped. Winchester back of the goal for Gomez. Looking in front to Winchester. Good job by Ian Cole there. Well, Winchester on the wall. Gomez for Boyd. Parked in front of shot. That was tipped high. Elliott may have gotten his glove up. And Gilroy couldn't handle it. Look and out. a break here. Stewart, he's in the clear. Chris Stewart, right in a backhander. And it goes just wide. It rolled off a stick. And now Roy to Stewart again in front. And didn't get much on it. And then it's Berglund on the far side. And then boys there against Derek Roy. The puck to center ice. Picked off by Petrangelo. Stewart will try again. And a pass intended for Jaden Schwartz, but just off the mark. I think Stewart, Stewart wanted to go forehand, backhand between the legs. That's one of his that's one of his silky moves right there. And the goaltender has to open up the legs and he just feathers it in there. But it looked like it rolled off his stick. This is kept in by Bo Meester. A shot tipped by Tarasenko High. And now Schwartz back of the goal. Panther player lost a stick. And he lost Schwartz. Bo Meester again. Lines up. That's tipped by Berglund, but blocked in front. And now Gotch back to center ice. And he's run down by Petrangelo. Popechki a shot. Trying to catch Elliott cheating there, but he has it under his right pad. And a whistle. Yeah, Petrangelo just kind of gave Sean Mathias a, a shot after the whistle. Gave him a little shove, and Mathias turned around and gave him a glove right in the back of the numbers. Darren Pang, are you afraid of alligators? If you are, you're in the wrong place. Right near Alligator Alley here in South Florida.
And we're back here in South Florida. Good to have you along with us as the Blues lead 4-0 with just over eight minutes to go in the third period. Well, the theme of the night has been Jay Bomeister, so we'll stick with that. Of course, anybody who talks about uh, Bomeister, the first thing you think about is his skating ability. And he tells me just after he learned to walk, his parents put skates on him, and he went right to it. Now, his junior coach was once quoted as saying he, he was NHL ready in terms of his skating when he was 15 years of age. Chris Stewart tells me this morning he's the safest player in the league. And they call it a one-man breakout when he gets the puck behind his own net. He truly is that good when it comes to his skating, and that's what separates him from other defensemen in this league, John. Andy, thanks, Andy. NHL ready at 15 as a skater? That's very impressive. And, man, can he fly. Well, you either have skating ability or you don't have skating ability. <laughs> I mean, he, he coasts faster than most guys can, can skate. Uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible stride. But keep in mind, this is a guy that... Also, he's, he, he trains as a hiker. I mean, he can go forever. His, his lung capacity is through the charts. As Krakow comes in. In there with Reeves. But now the Panthers take over. And through the neutral zone is Gulikov. And his hard wrist shot. That's knocked away by the right arm of Elliott. And Steen motors back to center ice. 7-10 left in the third period. It's Kulikov. Again, it's played in a couple of national teams with Vladdy Tarasenko. Now Campbell to center ice. Drop pass. Weaver from the boards. That was blocked. And then Fleischman a shot. Again, it's blocked. That was right into the paraphernalia of David Backus. Now Polak. Hard pass across for Cole. And then back to Polak. Chipped at center ice and broken up. But the Panthers are just offside. Nothing more frustrating than that. You're trailing in a game by 4-0 on home ice and you go offside. Well, back to Big J. And you look, you know, drafted third overall on a team uh, that was trying to find its way. You play a lot. Sure, he's going to be a minus. Uh, Calgary, you know, there's some good moments there in Calgary. Uh, he goes up against the other team's best players every single night. Minus. Look at him with St. Louis Blues. With the structure, with the team, paired with Alex Petrangelo. This is going to be a dynamic duo for many years to come. Bo Meester signs a five-year extension after this year. Petrangelo signs a seven-year deal just, just in the, uh, after the first day of training camp. And again, has not had a minus game this year with the Blues. And that's out of play. Early on in his career, Bo Meester was coached by Mike Keenan, who was fired and then resurfaced a short time later as the GM here in Florida. A rather uh, volatile time in Panther history. Yep, very much so. Very much so. And now are led by Dale Talon, your good buddy from Chicago. Yep, a great man Dale Talon is, and Mike Santos is assistant general manager. And you know, they've got a, uh, a load of prospects coming up the chain. And they've got, I talked to Dale uh, this morning at the skate. He was with his new owner, Vincent Viola, the U.S. Army Ranger, the billionaire that owns the club. And uh, the owner told me, we, I've got patience. I'm a patient man. And uh, it's about doing things the right way and developing players and not anointing young players. Well, the ones they've got are good. Here's Brian Campbell, one of the veterans on the club, to the front. And that's intercepted by Bo Meester. And then snapped in there by Patrick Berglund. He goes off on a change. I think there'll be a lot of that here in the final five and a half. Get the line, get it in deep. Run out the clock, force Florida to go 200 feet, even to get around the, the net guarded by Brian Elliott. Now Gomez dropped one to the corner. Here's Boys. He'll twist one back of the goal for Gomez. The longtime devil and Canadian. And then Winchester. He was worked over by Sabotka. The puck launched high. And will this be an icing call? It will as Gilroy heads back with 5.16 to play. Well, Stewart's got his first goal of the year. A lot of times when you're a streaky goal scorer, you get one, you get a bundle. And that would not surprise me whatsoever with the former first rounder of the Colorado Avalanche. And uh, he has been in on many goals.
just didn't get any points doing so. A lot of them in front of the net, net front presence with this power play clicking, ranked number one overall in the NHL. This is picked up by Sabotka. Aaron pass, Barkov to Fleischman. Oh! And what a save by Elliott with his right arm as Fleischman found himself in cold turkey. Elliott had the answer. Well, we'll keep our eye on Brian Elliott, who has been very sharp in this game. Kind of flexing that right leg when he went to the bench. But here's an example of some of the saves. In full control, with the glove, wrist shots from the outside. A gap closure of the Blues was very, very good. And once it was in on jam plays, it was good protection in front. Again, using the glove. How many times did he grab it with a stinky leather mitt there? Uh, John Kelly, lots. At least eight times has he made glove saves in this game. Panthers win the faceoff. And another great save by Elliott. That one on Mathias. Bang, bang, right off the draw. Yeah, Blues get a little sloppy in their own zone. That led to that scoring chance before the commercial break, and that one right there. Panthers now up to 28 shots on goal. Blues have had 23. When you think the difference in this game, I mean, there's been a few things, but the goaltending. I mean, the goaltending of Brian Elliott has been sharper than Jacob Markstrom at the other end. Now it's Campbell back of the goal. Blues led 1-0 after one, a goal by Roy. Now back is in behind the net. Blues scored three goals in about five minutes in the second. Stewart, Petrangelo, and Steen. And haven't looked back since. Steen pass to the front. That's blocked by Weaver. Under some pressure there by Steen. Shattenkirk trying to hold it in. But it goes right to a Panther. And Popetsky plays it back. And now Gotch for Weaver. And Blues are making a change in the fly, so Weaver directs some traffic from behind the goal. Huberto onto center ice. Hope check there by Cracknell. And then driven in by Gabranson and a pad save by Elliott. That Gabranson can really fire the puck. Heavy shot. And then a long backhander. Ends up in the corner. Petrangelo in there against the 18-year-old Barkoff. Who's the son of a former elite player in Finland and Russia. Barkov was actually born in Finland, but is of Russian descent. This will be a race for the puck, and Reed gets there ahead of Gilroy. Now Lapierre to crack them. That's broken up, and it squirts to center ice. 3.05 left in the third period. The Blues blank the Panthers 7-0 in game two and lead this one 4-0. The second and final meeting this year. And the Panthers' Bukestad. Look out right in front of his own goal. Almost lost it to Berglund. And now Gilroy just pumps it off. Ian Colin down the ice, so no icing. And you have to wonder with the young Bukestad, too, because he had that concussion in September. Got to play against... I mean, he's obviously a Minnesota boy. Got to play against the Wild for the first time in his career. Pretty special moment for young Nick Bustead, their former first-round pick. Here he comes again, a big man. And off a skate, it's into the right pad of Brian Elliott. And we get a whistle. That whistle, John Kelly, gives us a chance for a BMO Harris Bank check replays of the game. And there are many. I expect a little bit more feistiness in this game. There's a high one there by Hubert O, and he ends up going to the box. Good hit there by Fleischman on Jay Bowmeister, and then stand-up hit by Patrick Berglund. And a, a few scrubs along the way. And team toughness isn't about one person. You're a really good team. It's about five guys on the ice taking care of business. Not letting one guy get out man. Jumping in there. Blues have done that this game. Just over two minutes left here in the third period. Savotka. He'll play it back to Jackman. Off the stick of Stewart. And then shoveled in by Boys, who has been the Panthers' most dangerous player, especially in this third period. Jesse Winchester looking around, trying to find an open man. And then Boys back of the cage. His work to the corner by Sabotka. And then boys trying to make a play. Everything on the outside. And inside is heavily guarded right now by the Blues. And Campbell's shot is blocked by Stewart. He's got no stick. Here's Stewart. Two on two, but Campbell without a twig to Roy. The shot, and that's just wide. And then Roy back of the goal. 
But Gomez picks it up for Florida. And he'll go for a skate. With 75 seconds left in the third period. Blues have been outshot 30-23, but lead 4-0. Panthers to center ice. Gilbert at the line. And then Reeves on the back check breaks it up. Boom. And Reeves wanted to go up the right wing <laughs> side. He says, nope, I'll go the other way. The big fella reverses the flow. Well, Serge Chavard back there. The former Canadian great. Long shot by Kulikov wide. And then grabbed by Cracknell. And he gets it to center ice. Reeves follows up. And plays one in. You know, during the lockout, Reeves got familiar with Florida. Played in Orlando. East Coast Hockey League. Played about 35 minutes a game. D, forward, power play, PK. And the Blues play one to center ice in the final 15 seconds. Here's Huberto. And he has it deep in his own zone. Gilroy from center. Save Elliott. Polak. And for the second straight game against the Panthers, the Blues shut it out. First Polak. And now Brian Elliott with his first shutout this year. Good job by Brian Elliott. Our, he's going to be our Bud Light player of the game. It's his 22nd career shutout. As you see, the St. Louis Blues are the most consecutive goals against an opponent since 87-88. 14 against Florida. Oh, crack open a cold one. A cold Bud Light. Because there's our player of the game. 30 shots, 30 saves, sharp in all facets of the game. Got some help in front. You can tell how much he endears himself to his teammates. They wanted to get Brian Elliott to win his second game this year. Stopped all 31 Panther shots, and the Blues win it 4-0.